everything that I did was as a computer science major student because I knew that that is what I was going to be. I spoke it into existence. I acted it into existence. It was like a fake it till you make it type of thing. Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kazim and I post lifestyle and college related content. Today I'm coming at you guys with another college related video. I'm going to be telling you guys how I made the switch from undeclared to computer science. And I know there's a lot of people out there trying to make that same switch or trying to make another switch. So I just really wanted to make this video to help anybody out there that just, you know, wants to hear what I had to go through, some of the difficulties and how I made progress and was actually able to make that switch. So I am a computer scientist science major at the University of California Irvine and I do have a lot of UCI viewers but this video doesn't necessarily only pertain to them it could just be for you if you're trying to make that switch to computer science or if you're just trying to make a switch to any different major this video is for you I just want to let y'all know that it is doable it is a difficult process but it is doable if you work at it if you do everything that you need to do you can definitely make that switch and can get it done don't let that intimidate you at all I know that some people apply for a major to the school that they want to go to and what they get back is not the major that they applied for it's like why are you why are you giving me this right now and that's kind of how it was for me so i applied to uc irvine for computer science which you know that is a super difficult major and i actually got back accepted as undeclared undecided it was kind of like okay i got into the school i'll just kind of change when i get there that's what my initial thought process was i, I thought that it would be easy you know once i'm in the school i can just easily switch over you know no no big deal no big deal i'll just make the little switch i'm still in the school we here no you have to go through a few requirements before they allow you to switch um into the major and that is just at uci i don't know how it is at other schools is it something where you just send in your request and you make the switch of majors or do you have to go through some requirements like I had to at UCI? Let me know in the comment section below. So I was pretty much one of those people. I knew exactly what I wanted to do right off the bat. I knew I had a passion for computer programming. So I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. No point of me being undeclared, undecided because I already know exactly what I want to do. So I think that is definitely the first step. Just make sure that you have some sort of certainty like I want to I want to give this major a shot I'm not just you know completely wasting time because you have classes to take I was just really suggest that you know before you go ahead and follow a lot of the things that I say in this video you just know that this is a major that is worth trying for it so like I said I knew exactly what I wanted to do yes my title was undecided undeclared but that wasn't gonna stop me I already knew that I was gonna be a computer science major so one of the most popular videos that I made in my channel was a UCI vlog it was the day in the life of UCI computer science student was I a computer science major at the time that I made that video? No. But nothing was going to stop me. I was already taking computer science classes. I was doing everything that the computer science students were doing. And nothing was going to stop me from becoming a computer science major. So the way that I moved about everything, all of the experience that I faced, everything that I did was as a computer science major student because I knew that that is what I was going to be. I spoke it into existence. I acted it into existence. It was like a fake it till you make it type of thing, but I was already doing what I had to do to be a computer science major. So the way it works at UCI, in order to make that switch into the major, you have to take a certain amount of classes and then you have to get a certain GPA in those classes in order to apply and then get accepted hopefully and then now you're in the major. So in order to even attempt any of this, I had to get into the classes. So the crazy part about it is that at UCI, the beginning computer science classes that you have to take in order to actually apply to this, you know, do this major switch, they're extremely difficult to get into. Everybody wants to get into this. Everybody wants to be a computer science major. Everybody wants to, you know, take these classes. So I was like, how the hell am I gonna do this? It was a matter of getting the classes now so I could start filling out the requirements. But the problem is the classes were so impacted. I don't know how I did it, y'all. I really don't to this day. It was it was God's doing, it was God's work, but I was able to get into the classes that I needed for my first quarter. You had to take, I think, about four classes, and then of those four classes, based on your GPA and based off of you know how you were doing and all of that, you could then submit an application. There was two math courses and two computer science courses. The math classes was literally notorious for being extremely hard. Both of the math classes were calculus, which keep in mind, I already took calculus in high school. And they would tell you like, yeah, students are literally failing out of this calculus course, like it's so difficult, da 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 da. 
and I'm a freshman trying to, you know, navigate my way through, trying to do what I got to do to be a computer science major, and all these obstacles are in my way. So I'm like, yo, look, I don't care. I really had to take a step back and be like, dang, this really sucks because my passion is in computer programming. Am I really even going to be able to do it? Because I'm talking to second years and third years who are also trying to be in computer science and they still aren't able to do it. So it's like, what makes me think that I can do it as a freshman? Miraculously, I was able to get the first computer science class from my first quarter at UCI. And I got extremely lucky. I don't know how I, was, how I was able to do it, but I didn't give up when applying to classes, even though it was saying it was full. I just kept on kept on submitting my code, trying to get into the classes and stuff like that. My first quarter at UCI, I was able to take the required computer science class, which was just a Python class that they were requesting, and the calculus course along with like a GE and university study, something like that. But I was able to be on the right track as a computer science major student because all of the computer science major students they were taking the same courses that I was taking so it's kind of like I was going with the grain with them and not being undeclared undecided like I didn't want to be in the first place so with that I would say if you're trying to make a switch into a major you need to instantly try and reach out to a counselor try and talk to somebody so that you can start taking the classes that you need in order to make that switch that's the very important thing don't wait because it's like you're already spending time on these other courses and you want to be able to take your computer science courses that go to your computer science major or whatever major it is that you want to do so your counselors are going to be a vital role especially as freshmen you want to go ahead and talk to them tell them all of your concerns tell them what you want to do what you want to switch because they're going to be the ones guiding you and letting you know that you can do this my counselor literally said yeah you have to take this computer science course but i don't think you could do it was kind of discouraging but she was just being real because the fact of the matter was that so many students wanted to take this course that it always gets full every single quarter so she was just trying to be real with me and it was really intimidating and it was really hard but it still I still didn't give up and I still pushed to do what I wanted to do and make that switch into computer science. Another piece of advice that I would give is to really not take these classes lightly like you should try and do your best obviously at all times but with these major classes that you know that you need in order to make this switch you really want to focus most of your attention on that because for me even though I was in the classes I was kind of slacking a little bit because it was kind of like a first year thing I was trying to do my best and stuff like that but also I was getting introduced to you know the whole college life and all of this but I really really had to stay focused on these classes to make sure that I would be able to get the highest GPA possible so that I will actually make the switch into this class. If you guys want me to make like a video furthering, you know, showing my grades as a CS student, stuff like that, and how I was able to, you know, get the GPA and stuff to make the switch and just really talk more about the stats part of it, let me know in the comment section below because that's something that I would be interested in doing. So I wanna know if you guys are as well. But I'm gonna be real with y'all, it was really hard not only to get into the classes, but to maintain a good position and get decent grades. And another part that I realized is that the GPA that you need, which I told you guys was a 3.0, to actually switch into the computer science major is lower than the GPA that you ha have to get in order to not get kicked out of the major. So it's kind of like, you really just had to show that you belonged as a CS student. Meanwhile, the classes were kicking my ass. I had to really suck it up and do the best that I could. But like I said, y'all, I was literally speaking it into existence. Like people would ask me what major I was and it just rolled off my tongue, computer science, because that was what I was doing. Like I was a computer science major regardless. Like <laughs> regardless of if I was actually in the major, I knew that I'm gonna be in this major. Like y'all could just accept me there was definitely times where i was worried and i was like dang like i have all this confidence but what if something goes wrong what if i can't t maintain this coursework like what am i gonna do really and i'll be talking to my other friends who are also in the same position and trying to do exactly what i was trying to do going from undeclared to computer science and we'd be struggling together in a way and just kind of empathizing with each other but i want to tell you guys just don't give up if there's something you're passionate about don't let the requirements or any limits stop you from doing it just make sure that you give it your all and try your best and it's not over till it's over until you like absolutely cannot apply anymore they say like 
yo, like, you don't belong in this school, do not give up if that's really what you're passionate about. So that first computer science course that was really, really difficult to get into, well, the second computer science course that you also needed was just as hard to get into. I went through the same process and I was able to get it as well, but it's like, that might not be the case for everybody. So let's say you're trying to get into this class, but unfortunately you just can't get in, it gets too full. Just try and work your way around it. Take GEs, take some other courses that you know are still gonna be beneficial for the computer science major or whatever major you're trying to do. And that way you can still make that progress steady going up and not just kind of staying stagnant. Just always try to have that positive outlook. Eventually you will get the class you need and hopefully you'll get the grades that you need in order to you know, submit your application and get a decent GPA for them to accept you and stuff like that. It can definitely be stressful and difficult sometimes and it always isn't just like a straight and clear path. As far as some tips to help you while you're in the class, I definitely recommend some online resources there's plenty of material out there that you can use just to study with just to learn from just to get a different perspective and that's going to help you in the classes and that's going to help you overall get a better grade and like i said it, this just all stems from really taking it seriously and just staying passionate about what you want to do so by my third quarter at uci it was the third and final quarter of my first year i was able to submit my application and it was just i submitted it my counselor told me to submit it like right before like my finals of that quarter that was just a really helpful tip that she gave me in order to like be at the top of the selection list in terms of like the timing and stuff like that during the summer of my first year is when i found out that they actually accepted me into the school and it was just no greater feeling y'all like because i knew this was something that was always burdening in me like on the back of my head it was like i'm a computer science student basically but it's like i really got to get into the major like to be official official so that was like my biggest relief it was like finally i can focus on you know really being in the major and doing what i got to do but it was such a difficult year and long process and struggling and there'll be times where i fell a test and i'm like Bruh, I felt the test, so what does this mean I'm not going to be in a major? And that, that was literally my thought process. But it just took a lot of, you know, just relaxing and trusting the process and trusting that eventually things will work out and staying motivated. So I want to leave you guys with a motivational quote that you guys can, you know, always keep with you when you're trying to make this switch or you're in a difficult position. I just want to leave this with you guys. And the quote is, speak what you seek until you see what you said. That just pretty much goes with like everything that I said in the beginning. I was acting as if it was already, you know, I was already officially the major, which is kind of what you should do. You should know like if this is what you want to do, continue to act like that and continue to be like that until it actually is. Fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it because eventually, you know, it becomes a reality. You speak in this, I'm a computer science major. Somebody asks you, what major are you? Computer science. And then next thing you know, you're a computer science major. That's my little bit. I hope that this was able to motivate at least one person out there because I know for me, it was really, really difficult. And it was just a lot of, it took a lot of just, it took a lot of praying. <laughs> so don't give up, stay motivated, stay passionate. You can do it. I'm telling you right now, if anybody hasn't told you, you can do it. I know you can. And with that, I am going to end this video. If you guys have any video suggestions for lifestyle or college related content, feel free to leave it down below. October is coming pretty soon and I want to have some good video content for you guys. So feel free to leave that down below. Also, go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell so you don't miss out when I post. And yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.